So let's have a look at solving equations using trig identities. So pretty much the idea here, everything you previously know about solving for trig equations apply. Now the only little difference here is that you will see something that you could replace with an identity. So what's the identity that is equal to sine two theta? So sine two theta is equal to Two sine theta, yep, cos theta, good. And to finish off our equation there. Now, when you're solving these types of equations, do not ever divide anything out. You know how you have a sine theta on both sides of the equal sign? You never want to divide it out. Because once you've divided sine theta out, it's basically gone, right? But that's one of the solutions that we need to find. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to move everything over to one side, set it equal to zero, and now what do you see can be done? You can factor, yeah. So sine theta can be factored out and you're going to get one of your solutions from there. Cos, I'm supposed to be writing cos. I'm just having trouble. Okay, so 2 cos theta minus 1. All right, so now we set each factor to 0. So sine theta equals 0. And then we want to set this factor equal to 0. So 2 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, where is theta equal? Where is theta equal to zero for sine? Sorry, where is sine theta equal zero? For what values of theta? Zero. So we've got our y values here and here. <coughs> so zero pi and two pi. So just take note of the interval that's here, right? And for this one, we end up with cos theta equals a half. So which quadrants do we have a positive value for cos? Here and here. And what value of theta do we get? A half. So theta is equal to, so our reference angle in the first quadrant here is pi by three. And this is going to be five pi by three. Okay, so all of these are your solutions. Okay. Now, example two, it says, determine the non-permissible values of the following equation over the interval zero, including zero, uh, to two pi, but not including two pi. All right, so what can I rewrite tan theta as? just so that I'm working in terms of the same thing. Sine over cos. And that's equal to two sine theta, right? Okay, so really, what is gonna cause non-permissible values here if my denominator is equal to zero? So let's look for the solutions where cos theta is zero. And we're saying that theta is not allowed to be zero. So theta is not allowed to be pi over two. And so let's make sure we're in our domain. So it's pi over two and then also over here. So that's gonna be three pi over two. Okay. All right, so um, then it says solve the equation, so solve the above equation over the given interval. So now let's actually find all of our solutions here where they are equal. Uh, so tan theta equals two sine theta and then sine theta over cos theta, that's for the tan. And 
and that's equal to 2 sine theta. So take everything, move it over to one side. So then I've got sine theta over cos theta minus 2 sine theta equals 0. Now, it would be nice to um, solve this so that I still maintain my cos but don't have this denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by cos theta. So over here I'm going to end up with sine theta and minus 2 sine theta cos theta and 0 times cos theta is still 0. All right. Now, what can I do at this point here? Factor out the sine. Sine theta equals, sorry, sine theta and then times 2 cos theta. So now I've got my two factors. I'm going to solve sine theta equals 0. And we, I'm also going to solve, uh, this gives me, this factor here gives me cos theta equals a half. So now I'm going to move up. I'm going to finish the question up here. Where is sine theta equal to 0? So theta is equal to 0 and pi. And then for cos theta being a half, where is that true for theta? Pi by 3. We solved this earlier, right? And then 5 pi by 3. All right. Um, how is this solution similar to example 1 that we just did? And how is it different? So in example 1, we had 0 pi 2 pi for sine, but this time I just have 0 and pi. How come? Because it doesn't include 2 pi in my interval. That's right. And that's the only reason why. So this is a nice review of solving trig equations. The only difference is here, sometimes we're substituting an identity to make it simpler. Okay? So let's try example three. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in here, right? 10x, cos x, sin x, cotangent x, cosecant x, minus 1 equals 0. So let's make everything into sine and coses and then see if there's anything that we can reduce. So sin x over cos x, cos x, sin x. Cotangent x is 1 over tan, so that's going to be cos ah, x over, make that into an x, over sine x, and then 1 over sine x is cosecant, and then minus 1, that equals 0. <coughs> All right, everything's being multiplied with each other, so let's start reducing. Cos is reduced to 1, sine's reduced to 1, this sine reduces to 1, and what are we left with? Cos x minus 1 equals 0. So now cos x is equal to 1. What are the values of x that will satisfy that? So if I look at my unit circle, x is equal to 1 here. So that is 0. And if I were to go around over here, it's negative 1, so I don't include that. Okay, so I'm just looking at 0. 
And then if I go around in a full circle, it's 2 pi, right? But am I allowed to include 2 pi? Sorry, hi, I'm just recording a lesson right now. All right, so that was a fun interruption. All right, now let's uh, finish this question up. So we've got, what, what did we decide was our answer here? So zero, because we can include two pi. Okay, so x equals zero and that's it, okay? So the domain states that 2 pi is not included because it's got a round bracket, so we can't include 2 pi. So don't include 2 pi because of the stated domain. Above. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. It's got cos 2x plus 1 equals cos x. So what can I replace for this cos 2x? If we stick with our coses, I can use this identity where it says cos, uh, sorry, 2 cos squared x minus 1 in place of this one here. And then I'm I'm staying with all my coses, right? I'm not going to mess it up in any. I'll, I'll just have to solve for cos, hopefully. All right. Um, so now this gives us 0. And then I'm left with 2 cos squared x minus cos x equals 0. And then I can factor a cos out. And 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0. So then I've got cos x equals 0. And 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0. So where is cos, I wrote that out already. Where is x 0? <coughs> Sorry, I mean, where? what, what solutions of x is going to make cos of x equals 0. Okay, pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So I just look over here. My x values are 0 here and here. And for this one here, it ends up being cos x equals a half. And we've solved that about three times already in this lesson, right? So x is equal to pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Okay, perfect. So let's take a break here and then we'll continue the rest of the questions after. <laughs>